So, I'm going to give you just some of the basic Pilates exercises, trying to keep it to 15 minutes. Okay, so just grab a knee, grab a knee, and just kind of warm yourself up a little bit, a little bit of stretching. Maybe bring one foot down, extend the leg, switch sides. There you go, good. A nice way to kind of get into your hips a little bit. Um, bring your toes together, hands on your knees, and you're just going to circle your knees away from each other. This gives you a chance to kind of get your mind ready to work out and gets you to start stabilizing your torso. So my arms kind of help me move, uh, rotate my hips, or rotate my legs around on my hips. Then I go the other way, trying to keep the toes kind of anchored together. Gives it a base of support. But again, think about your Pilates principles here. Chin tipped, ribs are in, stabilizing through the hips, and breathing. Shoulders away from your ears. All right, let's stop that. Let's go ahead and pull. Um, actually, let's hold on to your right leg, send your left leg long, but really pull your right knee in. Now lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Send your leg away, and it's going to help you lift. And then go ahead and bring your knee right back in and rest. Not a curl, your other leg, your leg sends away, and then you come back in. If it's too much strain on your back, keep your leg up, not a curl, push your bent leg away, and then bring yourself right back in. And then let's try the other side. So you grab under your knee, send the opposite leg long, and it could be higher or lower. Lift the head, and then send your leg away. And then we, this is called shoulder basket. And again, lift your neck, or head, neck, and shoulders. And then we come back, and one more time, up you go, and then we're going to bring ourselves down. Okay, you can pull both knees into your chest, turn your head side to side, nice, okay, good. So just bring a foot to the floor, foot to the floor, arms are reaching long, try to maintain like a neutral, neutral uh, pelvis, neutral spine, meaning it's more a little bit more natural, and you're pulling in through your, to your center. Let's lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. Tips of the blades stay low. And from here, we could just do, say, 30 of the hundreds. And let's inhale five, exhale five. So inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Hold it. And then just rest. And turn your head side to side. Now I want to play with the breathing. That was five and five. But what I really like is three and seven. Inhaling for three counts, exhaling for seven counts. So let's progress, bring the legs up, anchor your knees and your ankle bones together, head, neck, and shoulders lift, and we'll do three and seven. We go, inhale, two, three, shh. Inhale, two, three, shh. Inhale, two, three, shh. Hold it, and rest. Send your legs straight up and let's externally rotate. We're just gonna leave your legs high. Let's just leave them straight up to the ceiling. Think about your hips being rooted into your mat. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. And let's go again, three and seven. Inhale, two, three. Inhale, two, three. Inhale, two, three. Hold it. And then rest. Let's pull those knees into your chest, bring your feet to the floor, and just send your legs along. So we've done 90. Let's finish out our last set of 10 and make them singles, where you can really uh, focus on your arms, focus on your breathing. So nod and curl. We're in this nice little hook curl. We're looking down our body, and we just go... Again, in case any tension got in there. Take your arms to the ceiling, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and just dive your body all the way forward. So just do some roll-ups, and then roll yourself down. Okay? Let the arms go overhead, nod and curl, up you go, and just reach. Think about drawing your ribs back, your arms are reaching, and down you go. And we're just going to do one more. Okay, just one more. Up we go, and you're going to reach. Of course, you could do more if you want. And then we're going to take the body down. I'm trying to keep this to like 15 minutes or so. 
Okay, let's move on. Let's go, um, let's take a leg up and take a leg up. So I want you to cross your ankles and keep your legs bent, palms up, and just lift and lower. So just kind of prep work for a rollover. And we're just going to kind of focus on the pelvis lifting. And you're going to press into your arms a little bit. Okay, stop that. Switch the cross. Okay. And then lift and hold. And then slowly lower. Okay. Again, lift and hold. And slowly lower. And maybe one more. Lift and hold. And then we slowly lower. Okay. Go ahead and bend those legs. Feet to the floor. Send your legs along. And let's stay here. Palms up. Moving on, take your right leg up or your left leg, take a leg up, palms face up, and now give you leg circles. So we want to circle into the body, around and stop. And the focus here is really to keep your pelvis still. It's rotation and stability. And go one more. And you want to keep your leg turned up. Now we're going to circle away, cross over and up. Go away, cross over and up. Go away. Cross over, up, and last time, away, cross over, up, stay, and then swap out those legs. Ah, and just take a moment, reset, feel the pelvis getting nice and even here. You might even do a little check, you could put your hands on your hip bones if you wanted, make sure they're staying steady, and we circle in, and around and up. Each leg will feel different, and around and up. Keep those hips steady, draw the ribs in, and one more. Hold it, and then go away, cross over and up. Go away, cross over and up. Away, ooh, crunchy. And last time, away, cross over and up. Okay, draw your knees in. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Nice, and let's just rock ourselves up. Okay, holding here. Now from here, a little bit of rolling like a ball. It's gonna feel a little bit different for you. I want you to notice how you land on your on the mat. So here you are, your head is uh, tipped down, shoulders away from the ears, holding the ankles, and a little bit of a turn out. Your knees are in line with your shoulders. And you're just gonna inhale back, and exhale up. Okay, again, inhale, exhale up. Last time, and then exhale up, perfect. Plant your feet, reach those arms long, and as slow as you can, float the body down. All the way down we go. And then we're gonna rest here, okay? Perfect, put that belly in strong. Let's move on. But before we do, I wanna give you a little bit of a break for your hips. So tuck your pelvis, just give me a little lift. Opening the front up here, and down you go. And just one more. And then down you go. Okay, let's bring a leg to table, and a leg to table. Just lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. Opposite hand on a knee, same hand on an ankle. And the other leg extends. Keep the body still as you just switch and switch and switch and switch. Switch and switch and switch and switch. Just do four more, do three more, do two more, and do one more. Pull both knees in and let's rest. Okay, hold there. Send your legs up. Let's keep them parallel. Single straight leg stretch. So up you're going to go and pull and pull. I'm just keeping it very basic. Think about your legs going equidistant from center. You're using your arms a little bit. You're gazing right between your thighs. Go two more. And go one more. Okay. Legs up and rest. Bend your legs. And again, take your breaks. Turn your head side to side. Heels to the toes apart. Arms are reaching. Head, neck, and shoulders lift. Right? My favorite exercise, double leg stretch. And we come around. Again, inhale, exhale, come around. Again, inhale, exhale, come around. Just one more. And then we come around, stay, and then rest, okay? Send your legs straight up to the ceiling. Heels to the toes apart. Slide your hands right behind your head, and we lift up, okay? So we're holding right here, and now your legs are lower, and then they're gonna lift. Keep your tailbone real heavy to the mat. Again, you lower, and then you're gonna lift. And you might inhale down and exhale. Have you tell one last time? And then up you go. Lift up a little bit higher and then rest. Okay, turn your legs parallel, bring a foot to the floor and a foot to the floor. Okay, 
So for your, let's switch down a little bit, for your crisscrossing, um, we're going to keep it, let's see, how we get, let's do side bending instead of crisscrossing because we've already got a twist going there. So let's lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. Here you are. I want you to reach to a calf, come center. So it's more lateral movement. Reach and we come center. We reach and come center. Reach, right? So you're moving side to side. And we reach and we come center. Last time, reach, come center, stay. And then rest. Okay, send the arms long and the legs long. Give yourself a good old stretch. And we breathe in the nose and exhale. Right? And again, you can really reach, really stretch. Feel those fingers reaching, toes reaching, ribs flaring like crazy. And then drop your shoulders down, pull the ribs in, and let the arms come long by your side. Okay, in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and flip you over. So come over onto your stomach. Okay, and let's just lie here. Bring your head onto your hands. Okay, holding here. Uh, shoulders away from your ears, and lift a leg and lower. Lift a leg and lower. Just lift and lower. Just lift and lower. And lift and lower and last time. Okay? Now, leaving the lower body alone, lift the torso. And then you're going to lower. Lift the torso. And then lower. Twice more, we lift the torso. Notice the placement of your head. It's not flipping up. And we'll just do one more. Okay? And then we're going to rest. Now, as you're here, think about scooping out the belly. Hands are under your forehead. Let's add a sequence here. We're going to lift the fore, uh, uh, head, neck, and shoulders. Hands to the forehead, and then you lower. So you lift, hands to the forehead, and then you lower. One more. Lift, hands to the forehead, and then you're going to lower. Now, let's reverse that. We lift, lower the arms, lower the head. Lift, lower the arms, lower the head, and one more. Lift. Lower the arms and lower the head. Okay? Slide your hands under your shoulders, bend your legs. Think that you're already in a plank and push up into a plank and sit back into your shell. So we'll sit back here and just enjoy the stretch here and think about those fingers reaching that the shoulders are away from your ears. Just try to elongate, elongate, elongate. Okay. Nice. And let's come to all fours. This was in your previous exercise, but it's a really good one. So here you are, it's a bird dog, opposite arm to leg reach, and then we come back. A lot of times you can do your extension work in all fours, instead of just lying on your stomach. And then we come back. And again, we reach, and we come back. One more each side, and then we come back, and last time, reach, and then you're gonna come back. And again, sit back into your shell, Come up and let's come onto our side. Okay, so you're all the way down on your side. Head is all the way down, your legs. Let's bend your bottom leg, top leg. Move up a little bit so you can see. Top leg is gonna lift and lower. Just lift and lower. Think about your waist here. You're gonna feel one side hit the, hit the mat more than the other, just based on the curve, right? But just think of lifting all the time there. And lift and lower, and last time lift and lower. Take the leg forward. And take the leg back. Again, hip stability here. And then take the leg back. Again, the leg goes forward. The leg goes back. And again, I'm trying to keep this um, you know, under 15 minutes. So we're going to kind of go on from here. Um, let's go ahead, turn the leg out and lift and lower. So now your toes are headed to the ceiling. You can't really see mine in the frame. But I'm externally rotated. And I'm sending my leg up. And then she's down. And last time up and then she's down. Bend your top leg, bottom leg goes long. Now this top leg could drop, the knee could drop, or you could keep it up. Hold here, and we lift the bottom leg and lower. Lift the bottom leg and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower twice more, or more. If you really like this, you can do more of it. And then there's our last one, okay? Send those legs long. Let's go ahead and up, push yourself up. And just get these legs to the other side. And then lie all the way down again. Okay? So again, we don't do a whole bunch here. Bend your bottom leg. Top leg is going to lift and lower. I didn't talk about it on the other side, but this top arm could be high. She could be on your hip. 
or she could be in front of you. If she's in front of you, it's a spider hand. Lift and you lower and lift and you lower. So this is parallel to the floor. Okay, lift and you lower and last time lift, stay. Take the leg forward, oh, and take her back. And remember your waist and your hips are stable. Again, we go forward and we go back. And last time, let's go forward. And then we're gonna go back. Now, turn your leg out so the toes, toes are facing up, okay? And you're gonna lift, pop, 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 and we lower. And we lift, and we lower. You can lift higher when you're turned out, typically. Again, and remember your waist, remember that waist. And again, you're gonna lift, and you're gonna lower, and there's your last one, okay? Good, now bend this top leg, bottom leg goes long, okay? And lift the bottom leg and lower. So you're not just getting the outer thigh, you're also getting some inner thigh here. And you're gonna lift and lower and lift and lower. I try to keep the uh, repetitions the same, but let's, who knows, go four more. And go three more, go two more, and then there's your one, and then you lower. Send both legs long, and let's just roll right onto our stomach. Roll right onto your belly. Hold in here. Hands are right under your forehead again. And now, um, let's see, open your legs about as wide as your mat, and bend your legs. So heels are touching, heads on the floor. And now you're going to lift your knees off the mat, and lower. Lift your knees off the mat, and lower. Lift. And you lower. Now, any of these, if any of these don't feel right, you just don't do them. You go, okay, I'm going to skip that. Lift and we lower. Lift and we lower. We're going to go two more and go one more. Perfect. Close those knees, send the legs long. Now, maybe this time, hands are under your shoulders, curl your toes under, and let's just push up to a nice little plank. Drop down to your knees, sit back into your shell. Okay, so typically, uh, one of the last exercises we do on mat are push-ups. So what I'd like you to do is come to a full plank. This is a nice way to do. This is a nice way to do um, push-ups, though, because I'm not a huge fan of push-ups anyway. It's always been something I have to work on. So you're gonna lower, drop your knees, push up, extend your legs. Lower, drop your knees, push up, extend your legs. Lower, drop your knees. Push up, extend last time, lower. Drop your knees, push up, and let's rest, okay? Fingers can point to you, so you open up that wrist there. Nice, and then you're gonna come back, okay? So now from here, let's see. Another way, another push-up variation you could do here is you could just lower the upper body. So notice how the lower body is not gonna move. You're just lowering the upper body. We just lower. And we lift, and last time like that, okay? You can also take your hands into a diamond shape and, and lower here. So there's lots of different ways to do push-ups versus doing the, the full push-up there, okay? So let's see, from here, let's end with chest expansion. So typically chest expansion, you're standing or you can be on your knees. So let's see here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit. So I'll sit right here. Okay, and we're seated up nice and tall, looking straight ahead. Just pretend, just stand for me. You stand for me, I'm gonna sit here so you can see what we do here. Press the arms back, chest is gonna open, ribs come in, you're looking straight forward. Okay, good. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. And now, turn your head to the right, come back to center, turn your head to the left, come back to center, and then the arms come forward, okay? Now I'm gonna to add to it. Now, your legs should be hip distance apart, standing. Press your arms back, hold here, open the collarbones, pull the ribs in. Hover your heels a little bit. So this heels, excuse me, just off the mat, okay? And now, turn your head left, come back. Turn your head right, and come back, and then reach those arms, perfect. Arms are gonna go all the way up. Give me a lift, give me a dive over. Dive all the way over your legs. Remember, you're standing though, I'm not. And then you're gonna roll yourself up, Arms go high. Take your right hand to your right hip. Give me a little side bend here. One side's gonna be more challenging for you than the other. Come back up, and let's go the other way. Just, oh, and notice, I kind of lifted there. Keep that side rooted down. So think about pressing into the opposing foot, and then you're gonna come up, take both arms up. We look up. We open those arms to the sides, feel that wingspan reaching out. 
Another inhale. And then just exhale. Perfect. So that gives you a little bit of a uh, couple things to do to kind of get that body moving in the morning. Um, or the night or the afternoon, whenever it works for you. That's the perfect time to do it. All right. All right. Thanks, Ariel. Hope you're having a good uh, semester. And we'll talk soon. Bye.